conclusion, I humbly accept this award for subduing the insidious light-eating Zagroot against near impossible odds. How's that sound? Quark, doesn't accepting an award... Stop the Zagroot before he destroys the city. This one's mine. <laughs> Unhand the Aphelion right this instant. I am on fire. Hello, I'm Kip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. And we're coming to you live from Luminopolis, where Dr. Nabarius has just released a light-eating Zagrut upon the city. The latest attack from the diabolical doctor couldn't have come at a worse time. Currently, the entire Polaris Defense Force is off on a field trip to the single and hating it speed dating convention in Meridian City. Well, let's hope they find love, Pepper. And now, back to the mauling. One's mine. of this creature knows no bounds, folks. He just destroyed Rusty Pete's healthy hamburger shack. Its vegan wheatgrass and tree bark burger was a favorite of hipsters everywhere. Well done, Ratchet. The Zagroot has just ravaged one of the city's luminoid conduits. You have attempted to prematurely terminate the life force of the wrong robot. I'm over here!
headed for the airway. Come on, we gotta catch up! There is nanotech over here. Yes! like our heroes have commandeered an air taxi in order to catch up to the Zagru. A bold move. Let's hope it ends in something that boosts our ratings. This taxi's gravity coils appear to be operational. Perhaps shifting position will steer the vehicle. <laughs> Cars. Here's an interesting fact. This is the seventh massive creature of destruction President Clark has helped unleash upon a major city since his inauguration. He's destroying the city! I have located the Zagroot. We are almost there. That was a close one. This might be a good time to mention our sponsor, Proton Paul's Lunar Funeral Home. Don't settle for a boring afterlife. Spend eternity spinning in your grave, thanks to Proton Paul's Zero-G Coffins. 